that's not it. I'm just not moving very fast. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I post hold a lot. I think we'll make it back in time. I freaking hope so. If we don't, then the world is over or something. It was the longest day of the year. Yeah. Um, we actually had was, other plans initially. It was June 21st, uh, 2021, year two of the COVID. And we wanted to climb Mount Hector, but... No, no, no. Oh, yeah. No, I thought we wanted to do the east face of Ptarmigan. And then we wanted to do the trifecta, but from a different way. Remember? Oh, yeah. Well... It was crazy. Idea. We wanted to do Mount Hector, but then Dad... Oh, Dad so, wanted to do Hector, right? Yeah, Dad wanted to do Hector, so we ended up not doing that. And then, yeah, we said, well, we could do the trifecta. But in a different way. And But then we didn't end up doing that either. So we did Gordon and St. Nicholas. Yeah, which was like our first time roping up on a glacier. Yeah, a so guide. we had practiced in our basement. Yep, doing we watched YouTube rescues. videos. And uh, yeah, so it's it was it was a pretty long day. It was like thirteen hours. And we've been going twelve hours forty six minutes. I felt so tired for some reason. It like was more very tired tiring. than usual. Very tired. So the first I think it took like three hours or something to get to the glacier. I can't believe it, but yeah. Spent a long time trying to figure out how to cross the river. Eventually trusted my foot on that rock and jumped. Dude. Took a bit of rest because Kayla was moving so poorly. Not quite 8 a.m. Almost been going for three hours and it is time, or just about time, that we start travel on the ice field. You go on the Wapta ice field, and it's just a long, slow slope up. And we were like not moving quickly. It was like relatively it's early pretty... season, so the ice was, there was snow. Yeah. And sink pretty far down, especially if yeah, you're a koi. So every step is like more work than mm -hmm. normal. And then also you're carrying like rope mm, and glacier gear and stuff. So it's heavy. And it was really hot. Yeah. You're on a glacier. Oh, and it was like, it was cloud. It was pretty much no clouds. Yeah. When you're on glaciers, you freaking bake. Yeah. It is crazy. And we didn't have glacier glasses at this time either. So the next our, day, our eyes were like our, dead. Our eyes were kind of fried. <laughs> and I sunburned the bottom of my nose. I can't believe that. Like, yeah. Well, what? All the reflection. I know. It was totally something I didn't account for. So now I always put sunscreen on the bottom of my nose. And I also sunburned my lips. So that sucked. We have reached a very flat section of the ice field at St. Nicholas. Only access from there. This is the olive. This is what I thought was the olive. It's actually Gordon. And so we did Gordon first, mm -hmm. which the the ground. Oh my gosh! When you got off like that flat portion and you start going up Gordon, that part was like that was really hard. It was That's where you started really sinking in quite a bit. Yeah. It's not even that much. It's just like a couple inches, but it felt it, so. Difficult. It was so hard. I think the whole day was only like I don't think it was more than thirteen hundred fifty meters, mm. and we've done like much harder earlier that year. We did twenty three hundred meters, but it was like not the same. <laughs> it is yes, thirteen fifty meters mountaineering is way harder than thirteen fifty meters scrambling. Yeah, this is mountaineering is just a physical monster. <sighs> Snow is hard, just off the side 
That's a rat. No, that's not it. I'm just not moving very fast. Come scaling. Like the views from Gordon though, they were they were really they good. Did. I think they're some of the best we got in the summer. Yeah. There was so much snow and ice everywhere. It was beautiful. Ah. Oh, this is good. Yeah. And then you went down. I got really bad blisters. Really bad blisters. And then I tore one off. It was Bruh, so stupid. Why? And he, I was oh. not thinking properly, clearly. Oh, I, I just remember you were like handling your blisters and I was just lying in the snow, whatever, however far apart we are by the rope behind you, just lying there. I think I actually fell asleep. <laughs> yeah, a bit tired much. Yeah, and then you were like, okay, let's go. And I was like, oh, yep. But I couldn't believe, like, that must have hurt. It hurt a lot, a lot. but Every we step. still did St. Nicholas. Nicholas. Yeah. Okay, we have ditched almost everything in order to make an attempt St. Nicholas. We got to, like, one section, we just left all of our gear. We left all the shit. All of it. And we were like, there's probably no snow up there. Or, like, not enough to... Be a problem and, and it was barely it, the, the snow wasn't a problem we, I know, we we got past but it could have been a problem if there was like it could have a been. bit more i feel like yeah but it was fine the ridge was actually pretty fun it was really fun i thought it was so pointy also that mountain it was yeah it was it's a good it's a nice it's a sexy looking mountain yeah that's exactly the right way to describe it. So pointy, so many nice angles. Yeah, and so then we we basically just went back. Yeah, as soon as we got to the top, took like a couple pictures and then left because... Dad was waiting. <laughs> yeah, Dad was waiting for us. He had dropped us off. And so we went back to our stuff, roped up. The descent was actually really fast and because yes. it was later in the day, the snow was like soft Slushy. and cushiony. And then the last couple hours going out was also okay. That was we were really we were thirsty. kind of tired yeah. by that point though. Oh boy, we are tired. Back at the river, going to the lake. Almost back at the truck. It's a uh, 5:50 now, and we've been going. 12 hours, 46 minutes, 18.8 miles. That was a real eye-opener yes. as our first oh mountaineering trip. It was very basic. and so hard. <laughs> yes, it was technically very easy, and we just, we just died yeah. during it. <laughs> like, <sighs> just physically. Yeah. It's funny, because a lot of people, like, go up to the the hut up there, the bull hut, and then do things from there. But like doing it all in one day just felt really hard for like a first time thing. Yeah, but it was a good day. Definitely.